Jesus Christ. He said, you have to know the way, the life, and the truth. Without through me, no one can come to Father. Jesus said that. So without Jesus, there is no room in heaven. He is our bridge between God and man. We have to go through Him. That's why we emphasize Jesus a lot. Why? That's the teachings from the Bible. But I believe it. How? By faith and strong conviction. See, that's why David is confessing. Because of God's power and His grace, He just conquered all the neighbor nations. And then, notice verse 4. Every king of all the earth will thank you, Lord, for all of them will hear your words. He is interceding neighbor's kings, so-called Gentiles. He's asking God to save them. Touch their heart to know that they have the same conviction that I have. So they will believe Jesus Christ. They will believe God. Have you ever prayed for other people? Other people's salvation? Hallelujah. Only one, at least one person. <laughs> God will be pleasing. You and I could go to heaven now, but what about other people who don't know about Jesus Christ? Why He came and why He died? Why He crucified on the cross? And every time I come to church and pastors talking about the blood, blood, I hate the most. <laughs> But that's the only blood, sinless blood, can cleanse our sins. What is sins? What is he talking about? I'm not a sinner. I don't do any bad things. But he's judging me as a sinner. Are we sinners or what? Are we holy man and woman? You are not sure? When you believe Jesus Christ, we all become righteous in Him. Even though we're born as a sinner. That's the difference. See? Verse 5, Yes, they will sing about the Lord's ways, for the glory of the Lord is very great. His inner sitting by giving Him thankfulness. You know, it, it didn't happen in David's time. But as we know throughout the Bible, his sons, Solomon's time. One example, after he dedicated his temple, after he completed his temple, the queen came to see him. Do you know? Do you remember the name of the queen? Sheba, she was a Gentile. See, God accomplished, God fulfilled His promise to David's line. That's just the one small example in the Bible. But how many Gentiles, other nations, came to David's covenant? You read it, Old Testament, that's why it's so important. You have to find out. Well, you don't have to do as homework or assignment. But if you do that, I'll be very grateful. Yeah. How many nations? You just count it. Wow. He fulfilled surely His promise. So that is unfailing love and faithfulness. Once I promise you, no matter what, I'm going to keep you. Can we do that as a human being? God knew all of us. That's why God said, please do not bow before me. I know you are not going to keep it. 
Even in the New Testament, Jesus said, please do not vow before God that you cannot keep it. See, how many times, how many things can we keep even to other people? Not even one thing. So we have to know who we are. You know, go down to verse 4, or oh, 6. Though the Lord is great, He cares for the humble, but He keeps His distance from the proud. Now He's mentioning why. Think about His position as a king. He conquered all the, the nations around Him. Now He's what? He's very vulnerable position to be proud. One word is a law. But he knew who he was before God. Why? He didn't forget about God's covenant. He just kept it. He prayed through. And he believed by faith. God is faithful. I know once He promised me, He's going to do it for me. See, today's Christians, we have salvation. Doesn't mean that I can go to heaven now, so whatever I can do, just I want to do it. That kind of lifestyles. No. Because we know He is unchangeable, God and Faithful God. The fear and revere comes from Him. Even one word, one action. I have to be very careful. By one word, one action, we can be a stumbling block for other people. That is real fear. If I say one word, then we stumble other people. God is very displeasing to us. We need to picture His face all the time. If I do this, is He going to smile at me? Or is He going to show me the, the face that has grief? See, because of his promise, he didn't, he wasn't shaken. Think about his position as king. He can do whatever he wanted to do. He was a supreme superman, 007. More than that. If he wanted, just order them to bring it to him. But he knew who he was. He knew the heart of God. God hates the pride. You know, though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies. You reach out your hand and the power of your right hand saves me. This is all God did for David. Because of God's promise, he remembered, so he could confess. When he looks back his past life, he found it out, the grace of God, what he has done to his life. Some of you may not know the background of David. He was born as a, what? youngest one is family and he was a shepherd and at at his young age he had an experience to fight against Goliath right a uh, Goliath Hebrews Goliath anyway <laughs> Goliath Goliath is uh, how tall he was maybe 10 feet 
and he was a little boy. 